We're talking about 11 commercial flights struck with this blinding light between 9 and 1030 last night over New Jersey. Uh, now the feds are investigating and you're looking at a breakout of all of the airlines affected. Uh, three American Airlines, two uh, JetBlue flights, one Delta, one United. Uh, the list goes on there. We do know that all of the flights were flying at an altitude below 10,000 feet. So that means uh, they were either in the takeoff or landing a portion of the flight. And of course, that, as we have said many times before, the most critical point of flight. That is when the pilot is very focused, talking to air traffic control, focus on his controls or her controls in the cockpit. Uh, so that is not the time that you want any unexpected blinding distractions. And that's exactly what the FAA is saying happened uh, last night, Carol. Um, so there were five planes and all diverted. Is that unusual to have so many diverted at one time? Well, I mean, uh, you know, air traffic control identified that there was a problem there. And, uh, you know, 11 in one evening, that's a lot. Uh, so they identified that there was a problem. And because this is uh, such a critical situation of a blinding light coming into the cockpit as a pilot is either taking off or landing, uh, that's a move that air traffic control had to make. And it makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you know that this light and uh, one pilot after the next is, is called calling in or radioing in that they're having an issue, uh, you have to take some uh, some action. Actually, we do have some sound uh, as some of those pilots were reporting uh, this blinding light shining in. Let's take a listen to some of that. Sorry, United 334 right, and we're getting the laser at 10 o'clock low now. All right. Yeah. Who's getting the laser at 10 o'clock? United 330. All right, laser event, 10 o'clock low, runway 4 right. Pan American 1976 checking in with you, and we just got the laser also here at 3,000. All right, so that was just two of the 11 commercial flights who, again, are reporting to the FAA that they had this uh, blinding light shining into the cockpit. Very troubling. We've seen in the past, uh, they, although it's difficult, they have uh, been able to find individuals responsible for this. And when they do find these individuals, they do face some very serious charges.